tell you that a group just met here in Canada and they're trying to get rid of your sovereignty, merging you with the U.S. and Mexico. See, it, it, it's not funny, I'm serious. And your news isn't going to tell you about this. This is deadly serious, so I'm just letting you know and I'm telling you about it. As they say, they are the guys that run the world. They make the decisions for we and we just carry it out. Sir, did you hear about the Bilderberg Group meeting here in town? 120 most elite people in the world? No. Hey, did you know that the elites meeting here in town right now? Have you heard about it? 120 crime bosses? None of you have heard of it. None of you guys have heard of the Bilderberg Group? They're meeting right now. In the city, around 10% of the people were aware of the New World Order agenda. When we traveled to Parliament, close to half of the people we randomly spoke to were informed. Ma'am, what did you say about the American Union? It's going to end up happening. We don't want it, but it's going to happen. <laughs> what do you think? Because the Bilderberg Group runs the world. You have the Trilateral Commission that's also part of the Bilderberg which is the uh, United States, Europe, and Asia. But most of this is public knowledge. Nobody wants to believe that there are conspiracies, uh, that world leaders are already elected before they're voted on. Uh, so here we know that Bernard Lord uh, is part of the outer circle. Uh, I, I was surprised to read that uh, Harper addressed the group in 2003, uh, because my understanding was nobody gets into politics without becoming uh, part of the Bilderberg group, and then you find out afterwards that that is the case that they had. Well, yeah, well, Bill Clinton went there in 91, George Bush Sr. back in like 85. And Blair, same thing, who we think that we're electing as leaders, are have already been pre-picked for us, whether it's liberal or a conservative, they're already part of the group. Uh, they own all the horses in the race. They own the horses, and I understand that, for example, in the United States, it's a one-party system with two factions. Uh, though you think it's it's two different uh, parties. Oh, it is, yeah. So. It's like Bill Clinton constantly vacations with the Bushes, and they call him their son, and, and they actually staged all that in 92, and all that's come out. It's just all staged. They're not going to let trillions of dollars slip through their hands. The good news is people are waking up, though. When you read human history, when you study it, all, all you see is elites trying to dominate, subterfuge, Machiavellian backstabbing, and somehow in the last 50 years they convinced Westerners that the government's fine, can do no wrong, trust them. How did this happen? <laughs> it's easy to lead sheep. I mean, people just follow. They don't want to believe these things will happen. No way. We'll just follow along with the norm. That's all. It's just an, makes it easier for everyone. What's your view on losing Canada's sovereignty? I like this country to stay as it is, and I love the United States to be there. Back in Austin, the capital of